What's going on everyone? My name's Boy, and I'm back with some more Age Mythology, the Titans action, spawning on the left side of the map in the green color, playing as Set. His name is Fargo. His partner today in the teal color, playing as Gaia, is son of Aya and Raven. They together make the team Faryavan. Their opponents today in the red color, playing as Thor, it's Nors Biar. We also have Happy Smile the First, playing as Gaia in the blue color, and together they are Nors Smile. It's a very exciting thing, you know? Nors Smile, it's a, it's, a, it's a thing of beauty. You should check it out from time to time. Whenever he does manage to give you one, it's a good one. So, we've got the Gaia, we've got the Thor, we're playing against the Gaia, and the Set. Uh, I've actually, uh, I don't know, I played this Set versus Gaia matchup and it's not an easy matchup for Set at all. I'd be surprised to see if this goes the way of the uh, of the Set player over here. We'll see what he can do. He's gonna have to pull something out of his uh, out of his uh, ability. The Gaia Forest coming down as well, but that just means he doesn't have to build a, long, a, a, a lumber camp, which saves him a little bit of time, gets him a little bit more wood, but generally speaking, we don't see the villagers going on to these, uh, these Gaia Forests here. So we'll see what happens. And Nors BR. Got some, uh, some food villages over here. Relic over here, like Scales of Catopla Pass. Always feels bad seeing those relics, you know? Always feels bad. We've got the, uh, the giraffes here as well. That's a nice hunt. Probably gonna go the way of uh, Nors BR if we're honest. Because he can just grab this hunt and he's in a good position. Whereas Son of Aya and Raven probably not going to be able to push through here very very easily. And that's such as life. And here we go. Oracle moving forward. Looking for someone to do. Probably not going to find anything. He does find the giraffe actually. Or almost. Maybe going to miss them. Not sure. Over here looking for these guys. I've got Gaia Forest coming down for Happy Smile. Puts it down next to his town center. I like this. Is a, a, a bit of a new um. It's a bit of a new usage for this Gaia Forest. Normally, I throw it near my gold mine, so I can transfer my gold villager to wood or my wood villager to gold nice and easily. Use the manor as a protective position, but putting it next to your town center, especially if you're not against anyone with a forest fire, can be actually fairly decent. And hopefully we don't see, we did see this happen to the set players. We could use forest fire onto the guy forest. We've seen that happen in this uh, tournament already where the forest fire goes too close to the town center and, and utilize it to pick it off a little bit easier or pick off the things that go off around it. Another relic has been spotted, head of Orpheus. Not gonna be doing too much. Also got the staff of Dionysus over here. That's actual huge relic. Must pick up for Fargo, especially on a map like this where it's definitely gonna be farming. We've also got the Pelt of Argus. It's not going to be uh, that much use there, but we are seeing Nors BR coming forward and grabbing this hunt. Um, but we are seeing Son of Aya and Raven grabbing his uh, his giraffe as well. So he did manage to get some back giraffe, which is great. Whereas Happy Smile grabbing these ones. And I think Fargo just gets no hunt this map. I don't see giraffe anywhere for him actually. Unless there's giraffe back here, which there probably is, in which case this hunt here is uh, actually son of Aya, and Aya is actually stealing Fargo's hunt. But he is set, so it's not as bad as you think. Second, um, if you, you actually go double monument, then you can build out giraffe if set. You can kind of get hunting for get enough food to hunt for quite some time, and. Um, it's not actually a bad usage of favor. You can see the fire is on goat already. He's actually got a really, really uh, difficult map to play with here. He's gonna be smoothing villages over onto gold, probably going for a far second town center. I wouldn't be surprised if he goes like three town center here, but I don't think he's gonna be able to afford it, uh, afford the villager production. So the, really, the only reason it kind of works as like Ra when you go fast three town center is because you can rain and then utilize that rain in order to pump out the villages. Or even hunt is the other option, but we'll see what he does. Double counter barracks for Happy Smile. I like this, going straight into the turn. We're gonna be getting really aggressive with those guys. 
uh, you don't have to build, you have the two catalyzers, you don't actually have to build like infinite turn here. You can just build like 10 turn on and then grab this town center and just boom and then transition into no Mermillo. So maybe you don't even need to build the double uh, the double counter rise. Right? Some do take 14 seconds to build. So they're not the they're not the fastest unit to build, but not the slowest either. So it may be necessary as well. We'll see what he does. And there's Lido coming in for Son of Ayo and Raven. Both players going Lido here, I think. Yeah, I like that. The the um the spider eggs are actually gigantic. They pick up four units, and that's I mean, if you use it against anyone, like the, the Norse units, picking off four Norse units is like a lot of resources if he runs it over this location here. And chances are he's going to run over this location. Um, and there's a second town center coming down for Fargo. How's his resources looking? That's the question. He's got 110 food in the bank. Because yeah, and he's got Shadoof coming in. So it's going to be, uh, this is going to be a, a very boomy, uh, but slow boom from Fargo, whereas uh, this Gaia is not slowing down at all. And remember, Gaia does have access to irrigation, access to flood control, if she needs it. Uh, and there's also some hunt over here that she could grab. She's also grabbing, still got grabbing hunt in the front. Could go up to the baboons as well if she so chooses. Gaia's going up for Fargo as well. Farm's coming down. And we'll see what Son of Aya and Raven can do here, but it's looking like the Raven Cavalry are going to come in and they are going to be greeted by at least one insta-death here running over these. <gasps> he dodges them. That's super unlucky for... Um... Oh, I tell a lie. He doesn't dodge them at all. What? These are... Who's spider eggs are those? I'm so confused right now. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Managing to pick up quite a bit. We're just seeing forest fire coming in. But it's too early, right? No? Maybe? The guy Forest comes down and it's gonna do a lot of damage to this, but all of these automatons are here and the automatons just completely shred these raiding cavalry as Happy Smile is coming in with his with his Termer and everything else. And the town center is gonna be down to 100 HP, down to 88 HP, and he's gonna be making an attack onto it. And it's super close to dying right now. And it's looking like the Gaia town center is gonna be falling right now. And now the Hursa are on top of everything else. Send those Hursa on top of those automatons. All of what Happy Smile has got is over here. The red units are here, shifting sand from Fargo comes in trying to move them away from this position but son of Aya and Raven is in an absolute pain right now with five villagers in this sentry tower two citizens sitting here as well Hero Termo coming in to pick off that wadget. More rain and cavalry are just completely piling in here. And these citizens are back to chopping down wood. What can Fargo do right now? He's sitting two town centers against this type of aggression. It's looking like this is going to be a really difficult situation for him to be in. We see some more of these heroes from Happy Smile coming in to try and pick off that wadget. He is targeting that one down. The hero, uh, the fairy does fall. But Catapelopies are getting built out for... Uh, son of Aya and Raven, and it's looking like Far Yavin are going to have to tap out of this game instantly. GG, well played by uh, by Norse Samal there with that beautiful rush, utilizing the Gaia Forest Forest Fire strategy there, taking down that town center. It does so much damage. GG, well played. Oh, oh, that was, uh, for some reason we have two on that name there. We should change that to one. That's obviously not correct. Very sorry about that one there. But, yep, 1-0 for North Smile and Far, uh, Far Yavin losing that first game. We'll move on to game number two really shortly. Thanks for hanging out with me. Having a good